Um, that, that's good to hear that we're on board with updating. Um, and I do understand that there are concerns. The, the penalty phase, we've adjusted. It is not a criminal penalty. It is not a misdemeanor penalty. Before, it was proposed as a suspension. Um, it's actually a fee adopted by resolution. That was one of the changes based off of the outreach night. Um, so the, and as far as superseding saying the concern is sprinklers in houses, um, I checked with our building department, the, the folks that are specialized in this and where, because if you actually open up a Michigan building code, it says you still need sprinklers in residences. I'm like, well, the building code says it, the fire code says it, how come you don't need it? Um, and I was informed by our building department, it's actually in the, the construction act is where that is carved out where sprinklers for residential occupancies are carved out uh, we did clarify that in the code too again in um, we amended a section to say hey fire sprinklers are needed to be required when the michigan building code says it so we've wiped that section out so we've been trying as we receive this information we've been trying to respond in uh, the best way and keep things as palatable and understandable as possible can you tell me what mm -hmm. other communities require registration um, it's common in southern Michigan. Um, there's been talk across uh, some of the, we, we all network in the fire service and, and fire inspection and fire code. Uh, there's been talk in northern Michigan by communities that enforce, actively enforce fire codes similar to us. Uh, nobody has ever done that in northern Michigan, so we'd kind of be the first. Um, Detroit is a great example and the De and suburbs of Detroit. Uh, Grand Rapids does a lot of registering and honestly we ours is being proposed as a registration that a lot of these places a lot of these communities are actually licensing saying here is you pay for a license here is your license to do work so we took looking back or trying to drill everything right down to what is our purpose here knowing who we've got doing work in town knowing that getting that communication avenue open, getting the information out there, and really just leveling the playing field, we tried to take it down to its simplest form. That's why we're saying, hey, we just want a registration. We're not wanting to, like, we're not looking to license you. We're not even looking to say you are approved. We just want your basic information, what your license to work, or what your license to do, and here's the information that you need from, that you should be playing by in the city, so. If, if, I, if I may jump in, Mayor, members of city council, these are good questions, but I would suggest that we maybe save these for after the presentation at your next meeting. Otherwise, we'll find ourselves, I think, getting pretty pretty deep into some of the you know some of the weeds, if you will, um, of what is being proposed. And uh, my suggestion is that we don't have duplicative presentations because we actually have one, you know, geared up and ready to go, and we'd like to show it to you in in that way. Um, I just wanted to have Anthony, our fire marshal, give just an overview. Um, but certainly, if any any one of you have any questions that you would like to address with with us prior to that meeting, please please do so as well. But we do we do have a nice detailed presentation. I'm assuming that some of those things are going to be. Yeah, actually, we uh, the, our presentation goes right back to the basis of code, and also um, I. I took solid, really good notes during um, during that meeting and followed up with people and after the meeting and then actually followed up with them the day after the meeting um, to make sure we're, you know, communicating. And uh, I took really good notes to say, hey, you know, these are the these are the things that were the big concerns. And I break down here are re here are our re responses to those concerns. So um, the the questions like you may have, uh, Councilmember Spolman or anybody else, they should be. I'm confident that what in our presentation that's ready to go is uh, will pretty much answer. Hopefully, answer or put a really good understanding for anybody, both on the council and in the community. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Okay. So. Mayor, members of the City Council, there's no formal action that you need to take on uh, either of these two items unless, uh, Mike, you want the Council to take anything publicly for the record? Uh, no, probably just a motion at the table would be fine. Okay. Could it be one motion for the two items? Yeah. So the request would be a motion to table uh, uh, both items, uh, A, adopting an ordinance amending Chapters 8 and 18 of the Cadillac City Code, uh, and, uh, and B, uh, the resolution that, that sets the fee schedule for condemned buildings uh, and failure to obtain contractor registration permit. And someone could move it as presented. 
I'll, I'll go ahead. I think it's uh, items B and C, and I will yes, uh, move that we uh, table those as stated. Support. Councilmember Spoelman? Yes. Ingalls? Yes. King? Yes. Shippers? Yes. Mayor Falcon? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, uh, Mayor and members of the City Council. Um, really appreciate everyone's uh, patience with us as we move forward with these um, with these items. Um, and so, because it seems like we're taking things in pairs tonight, uh, why should that be any different for the last two items? <coughs> uh, uh, both items are essentially the same. One is with respect to uh, Warren Street, and the second is with respect to uh, Lincoln Street. Uh, both items are a request uh, for the City Council to adopt a resolution uh, to add these two streets into our um, local street system. Um, <coughs> Owen, were you planning on giving a quick yep. update? Okay, so I'll yeah, kick so it to you. Every year we're required to certify our road map. We get a, a printed out uh, map from uh, from MDOT and we're required to sign that the map continues to be accurate and so this year we extended these two streets for the purpose of the jail project uh, <coughs> the, the aerial picture obviously was was on our GIS before the jail was built uh, but Warren Street so the um, as it's going towards the bottom of the screen there is going up the hill towards um, the doctor's office at the top of the hill the in the open field there where it says the sheriff's office that's obviously where the jail is and then Warren's or Lincoln Street from that corner all the way down to Crosby Road so what we're doing tonight we have to have council pass a resolution essentially accepting those streets into our local street system and then we'll draw those on the map and sign it and submit it to to MDOT and what this does is it allows us to collect uh, motor vehicle highway funds act 51 dollars on these sections of streets so the roads are in place we own the roads uh, they're open to public and this is how we get paid to maintain them is adding them in so um, the resolutions at this point don't include the specific description uh, under the the resolution <laughs> under number one that description is still being finalized between the um, the plans that we got from the county and and Prine and Newhoff is helping us with this as well that's why I wanted to pro provide the drawing so we have to do separate resolutions for each street so there's one for Warren Street one for Lincoln Street we're actually going to request that both of these become major streets the difference is uh, we get our our act 51 dollars in two sections local street major street if they're approved as major streets we get about thirteen thousand five hundred dollars a mile um, plus a little bit more based on population if they're counted as local streets we get about three thousand or thirty five hundred dollars a mile um, we think they may meet the qualifications of a major street based on uh, the emergency nature of the roads and so we're going to request them as such so accept them into the local road system overall and then we're also going to include an application for them to be classified as major streets so separate resolution for each street okay. has there been any discussion about um, opening Lincoln all the way through I'm not sure about that all the way through yeah. to where pa to where Lincoln, to Lincoln Street oh. oh not that I'm aware of no uh, yeah no okay just curious hmm seems like there has been there was a reason for not doing it initially but I can't remember what that was that would certain certainly change the nature of Lincoln Street down at that end it would yeah. residential yeah. area yeah. Yeah. yeah it would great sliding mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go ahead and make a motion to adapt the resolution for the addition to the local street system of Warren Street as presented as a major street support Councilmember Ingalls? Yes. King? Yes. Shippers? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Mayor Focus? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. I'll make a motion to adopt the resolution for addition um, to the local street system, Lincoln Street. Support. 
Sherry and then Steve. Councilmember King? Yes. Zippers? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Ingalls? Yes. Mayor Cook? Yes. Motion carries. All right, at this time, we'll open the floor for our second public comment. Again, if you come forward, if you just say your first name and write your first and last name for the clerk with your address, that'd be greatly appreciated. Seeing no one, we'll close public comment and move to good of the order. If anyone has anything this evening. Okay. All we'll right. Head, we're all headed to the conference. Most we're all headed to conference. the Capitol Conference. Looking forward to that. So, yeah. All right, um, then that would take us to the need to go into closed session this evening. Okay. Make a motion to, I'm sorry. Oh no, it, there's ahead. a lot. Are you sure? You took a big deep breath. Go I, well, for it. you need a big deep breath for this one. <laughs> I'll make a motion to adjourn to closed session to consult with the city attorney regarding trial or settlement strategy in connection with Wexford County Circuit Court consolidated case number 1324803-CH and 172761-CZ Terry D and Clam Lake and Herring Charter versus City of Cadillac Hop Family and the City of Cadillac versus Herring Township and Clam Lake and to invite uh, Jeff Dietland the director of utilities Support. House Member Shippers? Yes. Coleman? Yes. Angles? Yes. King? Yes. Mayor Fulton. Yes. Motion carries.